G'day, welcome back to Love This Ride, I'm Gary Warren. Well, over the years as a journalist, I've interviewed politicians, I've interviewed sporting stars, I've interviewed fighter pilots and racing drivers, but I've never had the chance to talk to an actual movie star. Well, today that's what we're going to do, but today it's the car that's the star. So why don't we talk to Darren Schiff. G'day, Darren, welcome to Love This Ride. G'day, Gary, thank you for having me. Mate, absolute pleasure, but Darren, what is it? Well, it's a 2011 Ford Focus and I wanted to design the car around being young at heart and making everyone feel young and all that, so I invented the Dragon Focus. The doors, I've got to ask, what's the story with the doors? The, sto uh, the doors, well, I love being unique and different and grew up in the sex tech era of the year 2000 and stuff like that and going to auto salons and stuff like that and I fell in love with the doors. Uh, just because a Lamborghini can have them doesn't mean other cars can't have them and be unique as well. And I approached an American company called Vertical Doors Incorporated. They sent some um, hinges over for me, and then I had them installed by Candy Shop Customs here in Australia. And we have the Dragon Focus that now has wings. Look, that, that is amazing. Now, we've had a little bit of a look at this. The only change to the car is the actual door hinge. Yes. So the hinges are designed basically to bolt straight onto the factory fittings and basically there's no modifications or welding or any um, fabrication needed. It just bolts on. The only time consuming part is to line the doors up. So, so best of all, there's no red and blue plate modification. That's correct, yes, because it just uses the factory fittings. That's, that is fantastic. And of course, being a, a late model car, it's got airbags, it's yep. got all the other safety systems. The, the, the door modifications don't, don't interfere with don't that Don't affect either. anything whatsoever because it's straight bolt on. That is Designed absolutely. specifically for the car. That is amazing. Now, Look, there's so many elements to this car. I mean, you had a walk around just before. Yep. You opened the boot for me, mate. I've got to say, <laughs> that, is, that is one big speaker. Yes, it is. Um, it's a big 12-inch uh, uh, square L7 uh, kicker sub, which pushes out a lot of oomph. And let's just face it, it's 141 decibels. So you, you, you don't, it's, it's not the sort of thing you fire up on a Sunday morning after a big barbecue the night before. Definitely not. The neighbours will complain, and um, if they complain, I'll just give them some earplugs. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, the, but the other thing, Heidi, nestled in behind that speaker, I saw a couple of uh, a couple of very shiny blue bottles. What's the, yes, yeah, what's the story there? <laughs> the shiny blue bottles. Well, they go with the theme of the car, blue. Um, they're not bottles, but they are not connected at this stage. Um, but they're good for show and presentation and everything else. We said it's a star car. I believe it's already been in at least four movies in its career. Yes, it has so far at the show. So it was a car in the street race scene of an independent film called Grand Prix, um, where it's basically like the Australian version of Fast and Furious uh, that was filmed here in Australia. And it was right up there uh, with the big guns. And it was quite happy to be there showing its colours and everything else. Um, it's also in a four-part miniseries called The Fort of Happiness. So. Movie one's already been filmed. Movie two, three, and four uh, are in pre-production at the moment, where the car gets seen in its full glory as well. Um, and also, it is the featured vehicle and main vehicle in the movie Patch, about the Valad laws and the rights of people and stuff like that. And it is driven by the main actor, and it is in pre-production as well. Once COVID is finished, these projects will then continue underway, and then you'll hopefully see it on the silver screen. So I've designed the car so it's friendly, user friendly for actors because sometimes actors aren't uh, qualified or have the skill to drive a manual car. So it's been designed as an auto and built around that so anyone can get in and use it, use it for any sort of prop, movies, photo shoots, the whole stuff like that. Why a Ford Focus? I like the shape and the style of the car and at the time my old car broke down and I needed a car urgently so I contacted Nova Ford and said look this is what my plan for the car is going to be what can you hook me up with? And they hooked me up with this 2011 Ford Focus. The rims, they, they almost look like claws. Was that a deliberate choice? It was, yes. Yeah. So I contacted um, Dog Tide in Anaclanga and basically said, look, this is the theme of the car. I need a set of mags that'll go with the theme to look like claws or something like that. And they approached uh, King Wheel and they come up with the Kodiak GT and with the ash chrome, uh, hyperchrome uh, colour to go with everything else to match in. And they were the last set in the country, so I was glad to have them on board. What have you actually done under the bonnet? So under the bonnet, um, I've got all the um, RS running gear and the um, race box filters and K&Ns and, and bigger spark plugs and injectors and so on. Um, and then basically it's all been hydro dipped by Northside Hydrographic. 
um, which have basically done the inside of the car, the outside of the car, and everything in between, uh, which is a very time-consuming process, but the finished product is well worth it. It's not an RS replica, you've just used components to build the car? Yes, that's correct. Sourced the parts, got the parts modified to fit this car, and to give it that sort of bit more characteristic from the outside. I imagine there's a hundred people doing projects like this overseas. Yes. Very few people here in Australia. How did you go sourcing a lot of the, 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 the actual parts? Did well, you know? sourcing the parts, definitely Ford is not one of the, the cheapest uh, things to modify. Definitely not. But this is one of the imported uh, Ford Focuses, and I had to source a lot of the parts from England. Uh, that is over there, that is one of their main popular cars that they use, and there is an abundance of modifications over there. The only problem is getting them transported over to Australia can cost a lot of money mm. due to import. Well, there you have it, folks. Darren Ship and the Dragon Focus. So folks, love this ride, we'll see you next time.